So it's Tuesday, 22nd of September 2020 on this autumn equinox. And as it's autumn equinox, I thought I'd start my school project. I'm going to get up on this step ladder to show you. Here's the first mosaic that I'm going to work on for Hodge Hill College, which is a secondary school on the other side of Birmingham, on the east side of Birmingham. And uh, I am playing with different tiles and textures for her dress. I'm thinking this gorgeous colour could be her skin tone. So I'll probably do whole shapes for her, for her arms and face and legs. And yeah, so I'm going to have a little bit of a play and a little bit of fun, really, gluing this down. And yes, this is plywood. Um, I wasn't wanting to use plywood, but the school has insisted because they don't mind it at all. Um, yeah, so it's their choice. OK, then. Speak to you soon. Bye. So it's Wednesday the 23rd of September 2020 and after days one freneticness where I created four designs um, I got cracking on with the first panel and I'm really pleased with it. It's looking absolutely bang on to um, the student's drawing. So she's looking quite delightful. So the plan is to now put some basket delightfulness. So I'm going to cut up this tile and possibly maybe in rows, maybe have a different colour after the border and then put some fruits in. And then I'll get cracking on with uh, the central part, I think, in reds. Um, I was going to put one of the students' roses, hence all this lovely wiggliness, but, and I'm going to, I was going to use some rose crockery, but I think that warrants doing that on its own because it's not looking like a rose at the moment. Of course, I would have made it look like a rose, but I think I'm going to give it its own board. Um, yeah, because the fourth design that I did yesterday, I wasn't to totally convinced. And um, I think I'm going to have some horizontal lines of sea-esqueness. So I've got a different colourway of her dress in blues and purples. And I've got this lovely glass as well. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. But I think until I've done the circular bits, I think I'll get on with that afterwards. So yeah, and I'm gonna pop this film together and put it on my YouTube channel. Okay then, speak to you soon, bye.
So it's Thursday the 24th of September and I'm on day three of creating the first panel to the project for Hodge Hill College and it's speeding along very nicely. So I have completed the whole of the figure and uh, quite a few people have mentioned Handa's Surprise, a children's story that gets used quite a lot in primary school. So it kind of reminds people of that book. And I can see why, because Handa has a basket of fruits and she takes it to her friend. And one by one, each fruit is taken away by a giraffe, a monkey, etc, etc. But I think this is Handa's mum. So I'm really pleased that people are finding a little bit of a color correlation there. So there's a nice hashtag for that. So I've also done the sea, the horizon and a little bit of green for the grass as well. And today I'm working on a fiery sun. So <clears throat> originally I was going to use one of the rose designs which the pupils had done but um, I think it warrants its own little panel and uh, I probably will combine it with another couple of images from the kids. Um, school teacher is going to give me some new designs so that's going to be good. So I'm using um, recycled and old tiles that I already had which I quartered and cut up ages ago and I've got the same kind of thickness tiles together so they're kind of like eight mil tiles and I'm putting them together with an orange in between and making sure there's enough space for uh, the grout it's going to be a brown grout it's going to be my favorite 144 chocolate which has been kindly donated by Mape. so yeah so the plan is I'm going to work on this uh, with a combination of reds and oranges and I've got this unctuous deliciousness of colors like these russet glass pieces and paler pieces as well and I'm going to put that around the edge as well I'm going to take it obviously off its mesh and edge it um, or I might decide to edge it if I've got enough around the flames uh, which I might do intermittently rather than the whole on each and every flame on one side so I'm going to be playing with that later on so that's what the work looks like today. So it's Saturday the 26th of September 2020 and yesterday afternoon about four o'clock I completed the mosaic making of Market Day which is as you know the Unity and Diversity first panel for Hodge Hill College. Um, the designs um, came from year nine pupils. Um, I specifically used two designs by them and I'm sure they'll recognise their style and their drawing but I had great fun creating this mosaic and uh, a lot of people thought that this particular figure looked like Handa's um, surprise which is a children's storybook. Um, I think it looks more like Handa's mum. But I love 
the bananas here particularly. Um, I used um, a side of a saucer and cut it carefully and use my max flex fiber to infill so that it's squeezed onto the board so i'm really pleased with that i really like the pineapple and the inclusion of all sorts of crockery and tiles to combine it all and i had great fun yesterday finishing off the background and working on the flames of the sun which I used um, different heights, different thickness tiles, um, some uh, that are metro tiles, they're a bit beveled and undulating. So yeah, it looks really good. Um, I even used some circles that were uh, created during one of my workshops or several of my workshops because I show people how to cut a circle. So there's a little bit of recycling there I love her feet I think they're good they look like they're striding across and I really like the way I've used the combination of colors because that shows a little bit of movement I think so the next stage is to drill holes for the um, service providers at the school to install and then grout it and I am going to edge this um, seal it in it in other words and seal the back so that it has some kind of waterproofing um, it's going to be framed anyway with some hardwood so that should be good so it's looking a bit dark here but what I'll do at the end of each but after the project is completed I will show all of them in uh, better light but it's such a bright sunny day that I'll only get star starlight sunlight all over it okay then see you soon bye